Hi friends, welcome back to your channel MyGynec which gives you all the information you need about your healthcare requirements. So today friends, we are going to talk about the topic which we discussed in the short read. The question was, do you compulsorily need to have a cesarean section if you had an IVF pregnancy? We are going to talk about whether this is true or not. But before that, let me remind you that you need to like, share and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep more of such informative videos coming to you. So coming back to our question, whether it is compulsory to have a cesarean section if you've conceived by IVF. The short answer to this is a big no. You do not need to compulsorily have a cesarean section to deliver your baby if you had an IVF pregnancy. Now, what are the criteria on basis of which doctors will normally advise you to have a cesarean section or will they allow you to try for a normal birth? If you are uh, in a age group of between 30 to 35, you are otherwise well, which means that you have no added comorbidities which means you don't have a diabetes, blood pressure problem, kidney issues or any other pre-existing illnesses before you started your pregnancy journey. Uh, that's a big plus point. The second would be uh, how you are going through your pregnancy, which means if you've developed blood pressure, any kidney issues, um, sugar issues or diabetes in pregnancy, then this is something that will be adverse for your journey towards a normal birth. Apart from this, we also monitor how well the baby is growing. So if your baby is growing optimally, which means optimum means not too big and not too small. If the baby's growth is appropriate for the age, then it is a big plus point for you to go ahead and have your normal birth. Apart from that, of course, the position of the baby's head should be head downwards or cephalic as we call it in medical terms. And importantly, the placenta also should not be low-lying or a placenta previa. You should not have had a previous birth by a cesarean section or any other risk or complications in your previous pregnancies, if any. If all these criteria are getting satisfied and if your pains are starting naturally and normally, then we could allow you to go in for a normal birth or a vaginal birth. If there are any complications that put you or your baby at a high risk of problems during delivery, then yes, the best advice would be to deliver by a cesarean section and the timing of this should be anywhere between 37 weeks plus or a few days before your 37 weeks if the situation so demands. I hope all this information given to you has added to your knowledge and will help you combat any questions that you have regarding cesarean section versus normal delivery if you've had an IVF birth. Thank you friends.